Welcome to Vodafone. For security, please enter your four-digit passcode or PIN number. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. For security, please enter your four... Thanks. To check your current balance, to make... To check your current... We're just getting you through to someone who can help. Welcome to Vodafone, Ahmed speaking. How may I help you today? Yes, hi there, Ahmed. Sorry, what was your second name, sorry? Deep. Sorry? Deep, like deep inside, but instead of the P, Papa, Deep for boy. <laughs> uh, hi there, Ahmed. Um, I just wondered if you could tell me what's the um, status of my current situation, please. Uh, my current, the current account, you mean? Yes, please. Sure. Can I have, uh, and let me ask you, is it the same number that you're calling from? It is, yeah. <clears throat> Can I have your name? James. How you doing, James? Not too bad, thank you. All right. Can I ask you for the first and the second digits of your pin code? One nine. Just a second. Thank you so much. Let me check here. Mm -hmm. Everything is up and running. That's the first thing. Uh, no bills are due. And uh, all of the numbers are active. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'd like to actually know what's happening with regards to the cancellation of my account, um, please. Uh, I'd like to see what notes are actually on the system to see what's happening. I, I should have had a call back by now, but um, it is Monday the 11th of August, isn't it? I'm sorry, you want to cancel all the numbers? Yeah. Is it, it is Monday the 11th of August today, is it not? I'm sorry? It is Monday the 11th of August today, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to have received a call back by today, um, and obviously I haven't, so... If you look at the notes on the account, you'll see. I'll check right now, just give me a second. So I'll go make a cup of tea while you're doing that, because it's going to take you a while. All right, just a second, the system is loading. I'm going to read the notes. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was, there is a case that's been raised. Mm-hmm about cancellation without no uh, termination fees, right? Just a second.
All right, let me place you in hold. I'll check this for you, and I'll get back to you right away if you don't mind. Yes, okay, thanks. All right, uh, James? Yep, hi there. I was just talking to them. They will get you the line 557 returned, okay? Mm -hmm. Ending with 557, and then we can see if we can do anything in the other numbers. But the thing is that uh, for cancel cancel the other numbers, there is a termination fee for it. No, okay? there isn't. There isn't. This is the thing you see. This is what the this is what the issue. This is why the issue. I thing. understand. I understand all of this. But let's first return this number, and then we will see what we can do on the other numbers. Okay? You mean the the latest one, the the one? Yeah. That it got. Exactly. Ending with 557. All right. Five, five, seven. I'll put you through five five seven six. Uh no, it's seven five five seven. Oh, yeah, okay. All right? Mm hmm Thank you. Hello. Now, now. Hello. Hello? I can hear somebody there in the background. Hello? Hello? Bloody believe it. Hello. Hello? Hello? Balls. Yeah. 
Welcome to Vodafone. For security, please... Thanks. To check your... To check your... We're just getting you through to someone who can help. Welcome to Vodafone, this is speaking, how can he help you? Yeah, hi there, I was just in the process of cancelling one of my accounts, but the, uh, right. the guy put me through to nobody, so my I was just on hold for like, on a blank, there was no music, nothing, oh. for like 10 minutes. I apologise about this, of course, and I don't mean to cause you any trouble. Well, let's have a look on the account, but can you ask you why did I to cancel the contract, did something happen? Yeah, it's a long story, to be honest, and it's not worth me going into it, so... All right. Well, let me. Would you like to discuss that with me? I mean, would you like me to help you with this? No, because nobody's helped me. So it's, it's taken four weeks now, and nobody's helped me. So I don't need any help now. I just want to cancel the account. Thank you. Let me have a look in the account. No worries at all. If you look on the account, you'll see that um, I've been promised a callback request um, last week, the week before that, the week before that, the week before that. Um, several, five, six. I think it's seven callback requests now that um, oh. I've been told that I'll be called back and not once have a phone called me. And I've asked them to do a call listening request. I've put in five or six call listening requests. Mm -hmm. The first one being on the 13th of July and we're now on the 11th of August. So that is just under over four weeks, um, which is you know not, not acceptable at all. The guy in the call well, said that I, the guy in the call said that I could cancel my contract without charge on both lines. Uh, there's a third line on there, but we're just not talking about that one at the moment because that one's fine. Um, but he said that I could cancel my both my lines um, for free of charge if I experienced any more issues. I experienced the issues the very next day, so I phoned up that day and said I wanted to cancel. But the guy that made me that promise on the phone didn't actually write it down on the system. He did, however, tell it to one of your colleagues in one of the Vodafone stores. So your colleague in store wrote the notes down himself, what he'd been told from the guy on the phone, but Vodafone won't accept that. And they have to listen to the call where they, they can hear him saying that, yes, I can cancel my contract without charge. So that, that, that was four weeks ago. So, you know, I just want to cancel my contracts, basically. I understand. Well, I, I do, of course, apologise, but I mean, just think is that cancelling the contract, you know, free of charge, this is something that we need to, to have a look on, of course, from our end, but I mean, we never really mean to, to go to any trouble or to to make you cancel the contract, but if you'd like me to help you one more time, would you clear, of course? No, I, I've been helped over 50 times, my love, so, you know, I don't need any more help. When I've made over 50, 60 phone calls to you guys, and every time it's somebody nice saying, oh, I'll help you, I'll help you, but nobody does. You might think that you're going to help me, but you never will. You, it's just the way it is. It's not you. It's not you. Unfortunately, it's just the way that Vodafone are. So because then you you you, the you, you, you you have the yeah, it's the one that I'm calling from, ending five yeah. seven six, um, and they basically when you hang up, you you know you've got all your good intentions to try and get it resolved, but then the people that you pass it on to, they're the ones that are not sorting it out. It's the people in the back office that are not sorting it out. We yeah, apologise, of course, about any inconvenience. What well, can you have your name, please? James. Can you have your last name, James? Low. Thank you. For the account security, can you have the second and last digit of your PIN number? Uh, nine five. Nine and five. Right. Thank you very much for this. I'll look in the account. I keep getting told that if I want to cancel my account, my two phone numbers, my two other phone numbers, then I've got to pay over £1,300. Um, but the guy on the phone said that I can do it free of charge if I experience more problems because for nearly three weeks um, I had no internet because it kept getting cut off every single day. So he said to me he's fixed it, he's guaranteed that it's going to work the next day, it wasn't going to get cut off again. So the next day it got cut off and then I got told that the guy got sacked and then I got told that the guy had left the job so they couldn't find his phone call. Um, I got told that um, the call's been deleted. I got told all sorts. 
So I don't know what to believe now. I've been told so many different things by so many of your colleagues. So just, right. Well, to be honest with you, Mr. Lowe, to cancel any contract within commitment is going to cause termination fee, all right? Because specifically, I can see that all the contracts have been taken this year. So, like, none of them has been more than than a year with Vodafone, for example. I mean, I cannot mm-hmm. see any of them that's about to expire. So, according to yes, canceling them now is going to cost you, like, a lot of money, really. So, I mean, the tablet, for example, it is due to get returned. As far as I can see, you can return that if you'd like. Mm-hmm. But to terminate the other two contracts with Vodafone, that's going to cause a termination fee. It won't, that's though. That's the thing. But it, it won't, because the man on the phone told me that I can cancel the contract free of charge. So his word is binding and contractual, yeah? So that means that if he tells me that I can cancel my contract without charge, that forms part of the terms and conditions and part of the contract. So therefore, Vodafone have to honour what he says. It's, it's all in the law, darling. It's all in the law, right? If he tells me that I can cancel my contract free of charge, right, in the UK, that is then legally binding, yeah? So he's told me something which then becomes legally binding. So therefore, I'm allowed to cancel my contract free of charge because I did experience internet issues, not just that day, but the next week and a half. Actually, that actually, day. when exactly you have been promised that you're going to cancel that contract for your tribe because you will need to business that call in that case? Oh, do you know what? I, I mean, I've made 15 bloody call listening requests. They're not getting back to me. This is what I'm saying to you. I've just said this to you a minute ago. I told you that I've asked I you understand. to listen to the call, but they said I that the call's been deleted, the call's been misplaced, I can't listen to the call because the guy's left, he's been sacked. You know, so what am I supposed to do? I'm ringing York okay. every single day, asking you guys to listen to the call. Oh, yes, Mr. Lowe, we'll listen to the call. We'll call you back within 72 hours. Okay. I call back after four days. Oh, sorry, we haven't done it yet. Call us back. We'll call you back in another 72 hours. And I've been experiencing that for the last one and a half weeks. So you can't turn around and tell me that I've got to do a call listening request again because I ain't doing it because I've already done it five or six times. Okay. Yes, I understand. Well, the thing is that I, I can see that the call listening has been raised several times, but it takes up to seven to ten days to listen to that it's call. It's been since the 13th of July, oh, darling. The 13th of July. How many days has it been since the 13th of July? Go on, count them for me. Can you count I'm how many sorry, days? I'm sorry, Can I ask you, I'm just asking you, when exactly on which call you have been promised you're going to cancel free charge? It's on happen. the notes. It's on the 12th of July. 12th of July. Yes. Right, because in that case, I can request another call, isn't it? No, I don't want you. No, 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 no more, no more requests. I've had enough. Right, I've had enough. In that case, in that case, if you'd like to speak to cancellation team, I can transfer the call. However, they wouldn't be able to cancel free of charge. I know they can't. They can't cancel free of charge. I know. Okay, so we'd like you to cancellation scheme anyway, because from my my job is to help you and to listen to that call if you would like. And if, if that's the case, can you please you can, can you please tell me what's happened to the last request? What happened to the last request? It's not been listened to yet, as far as I can. Why? Say. It's not mentioned on the notes. And the right? Can can you find out? I want you to tell me why it hasn't been listened to. Right. Well, I want you to go get a manager, please. I want you to now go get the highest possible person that is available at your premises at the moment. And I want you to go and find them and ask them why this customer. I haven't had his telephone call to listen to. I'd like you to please go get your manager. I'm requesting you now as a complaint and also as a customer. I'd like to speak. To, I'd like you to get your manager on the phone, and I'd like them to explain to me why they've yet again failed to do this. You are in serious breach of your terms and conditions. Yeah, you're breaching your your own terms and conditions by failing to you know by failing to. Um, deal with a customer's complaint within a set amount of time. Yeah? Four I weeks. Understand, of course, your point. I understand. It, t- it took longer than usual. I do understand. And it should have been listened to, but sometimes it takes long time to listen to that call. So it doesn't that, take... That, that, it doesn't... I, I, I've got a friend who works in telesales, darling, yeah? And she's told me exactly how easy it is to go and listen to a call, right? All they do is to find the call, right? To find the call, all they do is they go look yeah. at my logs. Can I explain, please? Yeah. Go look at my logs. They, they look at the conversation that we had on the um, notes, and on the notes, it'll have that um, person's username or that person's name, and it'll have a call reference number, yeah? Because each call is logged with the notes from that time. It's like when I'm calling you now, there's a call reference 
put onto the notes, yeah? So the notes will have that core reference log, yeah? Which I've already got that number. I know what the core reference is. Yeah, I've got it written down on a piece of paper somewhere. All you then have to do... Side. It's a different country, all right? Yeah. So that's why it's not that easy to listen to it. I mean, if it's the same, if it's the same country, the same call center, it will be... But where's the Vodafone? However, Jesus. it's in a different country, right? Different call center. Yeah, you're in Egypt. I know. Just, yes, and the other... It doesn't make a difference what country you're in, darling. You give somebody, right. you give somebody the, the, the information, say, right, can you listen to this call? It doesn't take five weeks to get sent over there by donkey, does it? It gets sent there by email, you know, which is electronic, which is done instantaneously. Yeah, so you can't tell me it takes time to, to tell somebody to go and listen to a bloody call. I was told on the 13th of July, right, it would take up to seven days, yeah? Well, they said three days to start with. After three days of phone back, they said it'll take up to seven days to listen to the call. Right? It's been nearly five weeks. Now, come on, stop messing me around. Just cancel my contracts, please. Right. So, just to confirm again, Mr. Lowe, if you'd like just to cancel the contract, in that case, you're going to pay the termination fee. If you'd like to wait until we can listen to that call, I can definitely raise that call listening for you one more time. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, darling, right? Put me through to your cancellations team, please. Just put me through because I'm just going to I'm just going to go onto my computer now and I'm going to stop my direct debit. So I'm not going to pay you any more money and I'm going to take you to court. How about that? I'll take you to court for right, breach of contract. Right, Mr. Lowe, I'll tell you something. If you'd like to complain about something or if you'd like to complain about the service, of course you can speak to a manager. However, a manager is not going to do anything different than the one I'm, I'm doing now. That's what I'm saying. No, I want you to tell me why my call hasn't been listened to. Right, well, it's not confirmed to, I don't want to mention, like, hypothetical reason, right, because I don't have a confirmation why the call was not listened to, it's not right. on my... Who, who was the request sent to? Who was the call request sent to? It's been sent to the relevant department. And what is that relevant? Don't tell me what department, what department has it been sent to? And well, in what it, country? It, it, all right, well, it, it, it should be in India, as far as I can see, but let me just double check. In India? Yeah. But would that make a difference? I mean, because... No, of course it won't. Today, it was not listened to, right? I understand that it was not listened it won't, to. It won't make a difference. It's a, I want to know why my call hasn't been listened to. Can you please get me a manager on the phone to explain to me? I want your manager to tell me the reason why all my call requests have been failed to listen to. Can you go, can you go get a manager, please? Because I'm really losing my patience here. Right, because I'm ready there to is smashing no my phone specific up. reason. I mean, we just send to the team, and they, we are waiting for the reply. Because it, it might be the case, as you mentioned, that the back office don't do their job. They might not be listening to the call, and that's why we have to send them another but you're, request. But now you're in breach of your own contract again, then. Because you're failing to deal with the customer's complaint. And you've got so many days to deal with the customer's complaint, haven't you? Right, well, I... And can, I can I be put through to your complaints department, please? Because... This you already showed the customer service to deal with your complaints. No, 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 because oh, it's complaints department. Um, there is no complaints department at Vodafone, it's because it's the customer service. There is a complaints department? Yes, this is the customer service team. Can I speak to your manager, please? Can you ask you what would you expect from a manager to do regarding this issue? I, I, don't, I don't care, I'd just like to speak to your manager, please. I, look, don't, don't think I'm personally being horrible to you. It's not... Please don't think it's directed at you, my anger. It's directed at Vodafone as a company, okay? So although it might be sounding like I'm being a bit of an arsehole, I don't mean it to, to be directed at you, okay? So don't think that, you know, when we end this call that it's been horrible to me. I'm not I'm not being horrible to you. I'm just peed off at Vodafone as a company and the fact that nobody's taking me seriously. But we are taking it seriously, and that's why I'm offering... They're not, though, not because that's, I've, I've put in six or seven call requests, yeah? I've been promised a call back seven to eight times. Not one single person from Vodafone has ever, ever called that. me. Okay, I'd definitely to read that feedback. They, the they raised it on the third time, and the fourth time, and they raised it on the fifth and the sixth, and now they're raising it on the seventh. I don't think that's acceptable. Can you just please put me on to your manager, please? I've, I've requ the customer's requested to speak to your manager. Yeah? For okay, thank you. Thanks very much for your patience. Yeah. Right, I do apologize about some. By the way, just to let you know, Mr. Lowe, about something. Uh, I can see the advisor who my colleagues raised the call listening uh, regarding. It's in the same office, all right? So I understand it should really be. I mean, we're going to definitely escalate that further. Escalate that yeah, manager. It was in, it was the, in call. the same office. He said to me, he only has to yes. go over the back. And hadn't, he said he was actually going to go personally do it. He said to me, I'm going to go over there personally. Give them this information. Give them your email address. Yeah. Give them all these details. He said because it's the call. They they listen to the calls in this office, 
I said, brilliant. I said, thank you very much. And you're telling me it takes, you know, seven days because it has to be sent off to India and China yeah, and that's these terrorists that Australia well, or wherever else, you know what I mean? Well, we, we, of course, we understand your situation definitely. And we apologize about this one more time. And if you would like, we can read that again, call listening if you'd like. But if why, why, should you, of course, why should you need right. to? Why should you need to raise it again if it's already been raised seven times? Yes, because it's not been listened to yet. So that's why we might need to send a reminder. But if you'd like to speak to our manager regarding this matter, that's absolutely not a problem. We can of course raise that. Uh, yeah, that's um, to call back for you with the manager. Uh, but it's going to be busy because my manager currently is not available. So that's why we can read a call back for you. It's going to take up to three to five working days maximum to receive that call. Sorry? She's going to definitely call you. She's going to definitely call you. No, 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 no. I would like to speak to a manager now, please. I'm not waiting three well, to five I'm days to speak to a manager. Are you having a draft? Right. The thing is that basically my manager now she's not available to take that call. Why so isn't she available? Why? She's in a meeting currently. And well, then I think this is a bit more hours. important than a meeting. Well, well but how can I get her out of the meeting? That's you just go knock on the door and say, excuse me, boss, right, well, but we've got a very irate customer on the phone that we've treated very badly. We've been absolutely disgustedly treating him. Right, well, I, I know what I can than this, say. And I, think I know what I can and speak say, to however, however, I cannot interrupt a meeting, all right, because it's not possible. So that's why I understand, of course, our customers is our number one priority, definitely. And these meetings are for our customers as well, by the way. However, just to be able to discuss that thoroughly and to get a resolution from this, she will need to call you back herself. Well, why does it have to be three to five working days if she's in a meeting? That's one hell of a bloody long meeting. Right, I hope like they've that. got. I hope that she's got provisions and plenty of potties for the toilet because three to five days for a call back. Cause she's in a meeting. Right, because that's there ridiculous. are other customers who've been waiting for a call back as well from the same manager, and that's why it takes three to five working days to 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 call them back. So shall I arrange that call back for you? Yeah, whatever, why not? No worries at all. Is there anything else Wilson can help with? Yeah, you can just raise the issue again, please. Sorry? Can you raise the issue again for a call recording, listening to whatever it's called? Appreciate right, it. Right, well, thing is that if, right, well, this is my resolution, all right? If you'd like to take it with my manager directly, then you can discuss it with my manager after this, right? Because if you'd like me to resolve it from my end, you can leave, I can read the call listening, and I can get back to you by text matter with the resolution. Well, if, it, if you don't like my resolution in that case, I can explain that to my manager, and she will take it further with you from there. I mean. You've lost me, but yeah, whatever, whatever you think's best. I'm going to get right, going anyway. Right, we're going to that, right, because I've offered you a resolution, and... You disagree on the resolution, Mr. Lowe, so if you'd like to explain it further, I'm going to explain that to my manager and she'll be able to take it from there. So thank yeah. you so much for calling Vodafone. Three, Have a great day. So that's three to five working days, is it, for a, for a manager? Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Have a thank good day. You. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Welcome to Vodafone. For security, please enter your four-digit passcode or PIN number. Thanks. To check your current balance. To check your current. We're just getting used to holding on. Good day and welcome to Vodafone. You're speaking to Neil. How can I help you today? Sorry, what did you say your name was? Sorry. Yeah, Neil. Yeah, good afternoon there, uh, shall I say good evening, Neil. Um, is it possible, yeah. sorry, um, to jump straight in at the deep end, is it possible I could mm -hmm. just speak to one of your managers, please? I, I, I'd like to raise a complaint. Mm, to be honest, we can't get a manager at the moment. They are off at the moment. I can book one for you tomorrow, though. Uh, what is the nature what, of the what, period, what do you mean that they're off? Um, they do clo They do go home after six, so it's just our advisors here. I can get oh, a um, senior advisor, but not an actual manager. Yes, yeah, senior advisor will be absolutely fine. Supervisor will be fine, thank you. Okay, then I will, I'll just need to obviously access your accounts first. Um, mm -hmm. Can I have your mobile number, please? Okay, well, well is, is there any actually available at the moment, though, um, senior members? Because if there isn't, then there's no point in obviously continuing the call, is there? I can go find out for you. I would just need to know what um, 
basically what's the reason for it, so that I can explain it. I've just got a couple of issues to raise with them. It's um, regarding my account, that's all with my cancellation. Your cancellation fee? Yeah. Okay, is it possible I can just get your mobile number, then I'll go yeah, find out for you? Yeah, it's the one that I'm calling from. Okay, 1035 Campbellian. And can I have your first and last name, please? James Lowe. Brilliant. Let me just see here. And then the first and third digit of your PIN code? 17. 17. And you're speaking about the cancellation fee for this number, eh? For, for all of them. For all of them, okay. Mm -hmm. The the third one doesn't have any cancellation fee because that's still within its time period to cancel on free of charge. So, But the other ones, obviously, are not. But there's an ongoing issue with regards to the fact that I've been promised a free cancellation um, on the mm -hmm. telephone by one of your colleagues. I've been, I've raised um, 14 or so callback requests, um, probably six, seven call listening requests. And not one single person has called me back from Vodafone. So I'd like to speak um, to a supervisor, please. Um, okay, yeah, I'll get the supervisor. Can I just get that date again that you said where they um, told you that they'll cancel the charge? 12th of July, 12th of July at half past, uh, half past three. Uh, you can you can see in the notes, there's, a, there's some store notes there um, from the Vodafone okay. store in Gloucester. Um, oh, and okay. One of mm -hmm. your colleagues in the store actually spoke to them, to one of you guys from Egypt, mm -hmm. and the Egyptian guy says to him basically that yes, if Mr. Lowe experiences any interruptions with his internet again, um, he can cancel. Because I said to them, you know, could I cancel for your charge if I get any problems with my internet again? He said absolutely, because I've completely 100% fixed your internet. I've turned it back on. You're not going to have any issues. I've resolved the issues. So you're, you know, I don't need to worry about it because you're going to get turned. You know, your, your internet's turned back on. So I said, well, basically then, if it does get turned off, does that mean I can cancel free of charge on both phones um, and just have nothing to do with Vodafone, just cancel my direct, direct debits and be done with it, cancel it? He said, yes. So anyway, the next day, guess what? The 13th of July, it stopped working. So I came back into the Vodafone shop to cancel my accounts, um, but the guy didn't actually write it in the notes. So that's why we had to raise the call listening request. So on the 13th of July, which is now over four weeks ago, we raised the call listening request. I was told it would take three days, 72 hours, because it was in the same department. Um, mm -hmm. Then that didn't get dealt with. And then after the 72 hours, I called up again. They said to me, we'll call you back within 72 hours. Five days later, they didn't call me back. So I called back again. I get promised another call back with another 72 hours. I get promised another call back 72 hours. I've been promised another one and another one and another one. And here we are today talking to you. Okay, so... If you can just hold the line, Mr. Lowe, I'll see if we can perhaps get in a senior advisor for you. Um, hopefully we can sort this out for you then. Um, so can I pop you on hold while I just take a look for you? Eh? Yeah, you sound like, are you South African? Yeah, from Cape Town, yeah. You're in Cape Town now, oh, sorry, I do apologize, I did say Egyptian. Um, yeah, because the other guys are in Egypt, sorry, I do apologize. Yeah, yeah, now we're all over, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, but I'll pop you on hold now, eh? and we'll take a look. All right, thank you. Hi there, Mr. Lowe? Yes, hi there. Hello? Yeah, hi there. Hi there. So I've taken a look. The, R, the, the senior advisors are busy at the moment. However, what they have, they have suggested that we can do, I can actually fill out a form for you to send it off into investigation so that we can actually look through the entire account, actually read through what has happened so far, and then give that information to an actual manager first thing in the morning tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be cool, thank you. Okay, now what I need from you, Mr. Lowe, um, tell me, the number you're calling from, is that the best number to get in contact with you? It is, yeah. Okay, I'm, not, I'm, not holding me, I'm not holding my breath for a callback, though, because, like I say, I've been expecting callbacks since the 13th of July, several of them, and I've not had one single one. Okay, what I can so. show you, it's definitely going to be the first call, uh, you're going to probably receive it in UK time, it's around 10, a, 10 a.m., is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, brilliant, and that's hello. Okay, I'll raise the investigation for you so that when they do give you a call, they already know everything that has happened, and then they'll give you a call tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, but is there anything else you wanted to know about the account in the meantime, though? 
Yeah, I just want to cancel the, the third number on it, please, so you can put me through to cancellations. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, let me just check which number that is. I think it's 5775, I think, or something like that. Uh, five, yeah, 557. Five, oh, no, that one is only ending in 2016. Just give me a second. There's a new one that I got recently. And from what I can see, all of these numbers, um, they expire in twenty. Yes, I've only, I've only just taken I've only just taken one out, so it's still in the cancellation period. Ah, there, there we go. Yeah, see the one you took out on the seventh of August, or an iPad. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll cancel that one. Thing. Okay, I'm gonna call them now, and I'll be able to pop you through. Right? All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for your help. Hi there, Mr. Lowe. Yeah, hi there. Hi there, sorry, I just, um, I've phone cancellations now. Um, they did advise me that, was this tablet taken out in store, perhaps? Yeah. Okay, so they did advise that uh, they can't organize the return from their side, it would have to be returned to the store. Yeah, no, I was going to take it into the store, but I just wanted to cancel the contract over the phone, so that, I, so that it's cancelled, and then I'm going to take the tablet back into the no. store yeah what happens is once you send the tablet to the store mm -hmm. usually about three days later our warehouse receives it and then the contracts automatically or that that line per se gets cancelled all right gotcha okay okay but i'm um, just to remind you we have a call back for you at about 10 a.m yeah um but yeah is there anything else we can do for you today though no that's it thank you very much Okay, enjoy your evening further, Mr. Lowe. All right, and you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. you. Bye. Thanks.